Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'm gonna show you the process and the requirements on becoming a public school teacher. So if you wanna learn more, just keep on watching! Okay, so let's go now to the website. I'll be linking it all down below. So let's go to the depedclub.com. This website is comprehensive and it's reliable. And also, guys, I had experience in ranking myself. I I have experience for three times already. So 2016, last year, and this year. So I can tell you my experience. Yeah, and sometimes it could be so hard to expect that you that you can be hired. But there are a lot of criteria, and I'll be talking about it on my second video, so just watch it. I'll be linking it down on the description box below. So the first thing that you need to know is you need to have a unique applicant number. Now as for me, since I've already tried for three times now, I have an active application in Depot Rizal. So hopefully, by next school year, just hopefully, I'm just hoping, um, maybe if i could pass the ranking because there is a cutoff it's 70 percent it should be 70 percent and i'm just hoping that there will be an item because of course there's a lot of teachers that is applying that's why it's so hard to be hired in a public school yeah but guys let's just let's just think positively once we've got this uh, all of the benefits I'll be talking about it on on a separate video the benefits the perks uh, of becoming a public school teacher so there's a lot actually now let's talk about number one the unique applicant number now how to get this just go to applica application that taped.gov.ph just enter on that if this is your first time on the ranking process you might want to click register here the topmost here just click on it and you're just going to sign up you'll be putting your name and you might notice that there's an asterisk here so it means that all fields are required and you're going to fill it out make sure that you have at least one of this IDs we have tax identification number GSIS we have PRC license you're just going to choose one and for the email for the email you'll be using your Gmail or your Yahoo mail if you have or whatever <laughs> mail you have so you just put it here confirm and then your password and sign up now, as far as I could remember, you need to wait for, I think, 24 or 48 hours for it to be confirmed. Uh, if, you, if you're a newbie, you need to wait for that before it will be confirmed. Now, in my case, I already have a UAN, so I'll be showing to you how to be showing to you my dashboard. That's all I can share to you. Now, this is what the dashboard looks like. So, this is the home page. And my unique applicant number here. Now, now, on your folder, of course, you'll be passing your resume, your credentials to the school we are, where you're applying to. Make sure that your UAN should be placed on the front uh, on the folder let's say for example the top you will be writing dep ed and then republic of the philippines the header you'll be putting the header and for the title it should be pertinent papers for ranking and then teacher one and your name comma lpt licensed professional teacher and below just below just below it you'll be putting your unique applicant number okay so let me show you 
let me show you this one make sure that you know the school ID of the school we uh, where you're applying to and of course the division the region and then next this is all that I can show you because the rest of the information are purely confidential you know it personal data sheet this is the second one this is the second requirement so if you have new seminars, you have achievements, you can update your personal data sheet and you can save and print it. Now let's go back to this website. This one, CSC or the Civil Service Commission Form 212. We're just going to print your PDS. You make sure that it is two copies and you will be printing out a passport size pic and make sure that you have a stamp pad for the thumb mark yeah now the third and fourth one this is the these are related so it's all about the certified photocopy of the prc id that's for number three for number four you need to have a photocopy or the certified photocopy of your ratings now you can go to PRC's main office, although it's, it has such a long line in the cashier. So once you get, you get got there, you will be needing a form and then you will be filling it out. It's either for authentication or you need a new original copy. So of course you'll be checking for authentication slash it's slash certified photocopy. So, for each of the photocopy, you will be paying 75 pesos for that. And for the documentary stamp, that is 50 pesos. That is per page. I'm talking about per page. So, you just imagine. Uh, yeah, it could get pretty much expensive. But since you're applying, don't worry guys. After this, after all the hardships, there's a lot of benefits. On becoming a public school teacher I tell you and I'll be talking about it on my next video now you just just need to be patient because oh my gosh I'm having a pila number five certified copy of transcript transcript of records this one is easy you just go to your alma mater or the school where you graduated from and just tell them I need a certified photocopy. Mopapa certified photocopy po ako na TOR. Ayan, yun. So, number six copies of service records, performance rating, and school clearance. Now, this one is for those who already have experience in teaching. For example, after passing the LAT exam, uh, they already apply. It's a private school. So, they will have additional points, but you should make sure that you will be getting a COE or Certificate of Employment from the employer, from the school, to make it validated. Or else, they won't listen, uh, they won't believe you na, for example, you told them, um, nagturo ako sa school na ganito, they won't believe you unless you have the proof or you have the documents. Yeah, because you just imagine there's a lot of there's a lot of competition uh, on becoming a public school teacher, so you need to have proof. Now, specialized training, specialized training. I'll be talking it about it on my second video. Certified photocopy, a uh, certified copy of voters ID. Sorry, you just go to the Comelec. NBI clearance, you can either suffer a long line on malls or there is a online so I'll be link linking it down below in the description box but um, you don't have stress so this one for the NBI clearance although this one is for renewing so if you have your NBI clearance 2014, year 2014 up you can renew it sa online but if you are a newbie, uh, you need to line up muna sa malls or sa mismong branch nila. Omnibus certification of authenticity. 